Hello creative friends, this is Joy. So this is part one of three videos, of a three-part video on creating a lap book. So I got these um, cardboard, um, I don't know what they call you, what you call them, these pieces of cardboard that came in a pack, which I showed you there just a second ago, that's eight and a half by 11. And I decided to make a lap book out of the, the cardboard here. I've been getting or seeing online on YouTube other people making lap books. I thought I'm going to try and make my own lap book. So here I just uh, take two of the 8.5 by 11 pieces of cardboard um, for each side. And I cut a piece um, 2 inches wide, um, as you see here in the middle. And then I use... Uh, some tape actually this is a book binding tape to tape those three together and I left a little bit of a gap so that when you uh, bend the pages it doesn't bind up on you and so I made sure I left a little bit of a gap for that and I decided to do another strip all the way around on both sides just to make sure that it holds that good and secure so I don't want the book to fall apart on me later on so that's what I'm doing here I also decided that I was going to take two more uh, pieces of eight and a half by eleven and put them on either side and I ended up cutting off a quarter of an inch so that it would fold on the inside of the book and then here I'm just closing it like I would and then to see where I need to put the tape and then I open it back up and you get like a perfect gap there so that now it'll close flat when I want it to close and it won't um, bind up or you know have issues with it closing and I do the same on the other side I put uh, and I'm fighting I was fighting the whole time with what little bit of space I was trying to work in with here um, above you know so that I could record this because my camera sits above this desk but there you can see here there's not a lot of room to work and it caused a couple of issues which I'll talk about here later but anyway here's the basic base for the cover I have this um, paper, and I'm not sure, I don't even remember where I got it. I, I got it, I mean, I remember I got it at Walmart, but I don't remember. I think it was over in the, um, in the home decor area, and I don't know if it's supposed to be shelf paper, wallpaper, I don't know what it is, but anyway, I thought it would work great for this book. So I'm trying to figure out how big of a piece I need. And I decided to have at least two inches on the top and bottom of uh, this um, book so that I can wrap it around the whole thing. Um, I do end up with having an issue with this, which I will talk to you about here in a minute. Um, so here I'm just marking off where I need to, what I need to cut off because it's longer than I need. So I kind of just quickly, you know, do like about two inches and a line and then I cut that off and I left this in to show up you guys so that you could see how I did this but actually I ended up having to do this twice which you will see um, the, with this particular one it got messed up so I ended up having to redo this whole thing but I wanted to show you how I did it because when I redid it, I decided to do it off camera on another table where I have more area to work with because of the limited space on this ta this uh, desk here. Uh, it caused me some some major issues to where I had to redo everything. So anyway, I have this double sided tape, and this is from um, Scrapbook.com, and um, it's. Uh, pretty wide as you can see here so it made it really easy to cover like large areas so I just went all the way across um, the back of uh, of my cover here with this double-sided tape and when they say that this stuff is sticky they're not kidding this stuff is super sticky which you will see here in a minute 
um, when I tried to put the cover on, um, yeah, it messes up the whole thing because it is so sticky that um, it ends up just kind of getting everything getting stuck to it and in and, and a mess. So I ended up having to start over on this part of it. But luckily it didn't ruin the base of the cover itself. Thank God I didn't have to redo that part. I just had to redo um, cutting the um, paper for the cover and getting that on there. And, uh, and then I had another issue um, with it too while I was working on this. Whereas there's a glass of water um, that I always keep on my desk that you can see just to the left there. And at one point I ended up knocking that over and it spill, spilt everywhere. So that was fun. <laughs> so there was some frustration, some frustrating parts about um, doing this. But all in all, I, you know, was really happy with the end results. And I did enjoy, you know, uh, making this book. And I ended up making it out of, and you'll see uh, uh, when, you know, in part two, I ended up making it out of a lot of... Um, things I had on hand and things that would normally have ended up in the garbage, um, for example, envelopes. So I um, hope that you, you know, come back to see the part two of creating this lap book. So here I'm just trying to um, put along the edge a piece of this double side tape so that when I fold over that paper, uh, to this other side, then I've got something to adhere it to. And of course, since it's so wide, I'm just cutting it down into smaller strips to put on this side. This would be what is going to end up being the inside of the cover. So that's what I'm doing here. And so there, I'm got it all done, and I'm the thing keeps curling up, and so I'm trying to run it across the edge of the desk to get it to not curl up so much but you will see here that that you know I just needed a bigger area because that helped a little but it still messed me up so here I'm just trying to mark off okay where do I want this to be where is the center line and I take off the tape so far so good I turn it over and I check my marks okay there's the center line and then I go to, I wanted it to fold up so that I, it wasn't so tight. <laughs> and you can see here, it got all messed up. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was a disaster. So, okay, so I ripped that off. I had to reapply the double-sided tape. And then, like I said, I took it to another table. To, the, to where I had it, uh, more room to do it. So here it is, all stuck on here, nice and neat and straight. So I got it all on there now. And um, wherever there's a bend, I had to cut, you have to cut like a little uh, triangle out so that it doesn't bind up, you know, when you fold it over. And then on the corners, you kind of cut it an angle and another angle like that. So I did that. On all four corners I cut a little at an angle to the corner and then an angle up and then continued um, all the way around wherever there's a bend I took out the a little piece of, of paper the triangles so it didn't get you know doesn't bind up and then I started taking off the tape um, and then folding over the inside so I started from the end the one end and then um, folding over the top and bottom and then just continued across until I got to the other end and then I folded the other end, which you'll see that here in a minute, in first. Um, and there I needed to snip it a little bit more because I could see it was going to be an issue. And so here I wanted the end folded in first and then the other folded on top of it. So it gives a a really nice corner and and it allows uh, you know it to fold up and stuff so that is the cover 
So now that I got the cover on, I had to um, figure out what I was going to do on the inside. And so I'm using the same double stick tape to cover the inside. And I put it a little, I wanted it to go as close to the edge of the paper I was going to put on here as possible. But, and I probably should have just put it on the paper I was going to put on here, but instead I put it on here. And then when I did put the other paper on, um, it there was still a little bit of a stickiness um, uh, around some of the edges, which um, I'll explain that here in a minute. But anyway, so I'm covering the inside with the double stick tape. And then here now I'm trying to figure out how much I need to cut to put on the end there on either end because there's a little bit left over on either end so I, I've got that cut off to where I think okay that looks like it's about the right size stick that down and then um, well, there's a little piece that it seemed like I needed to get a little closer to the edge and then on the other side I stuck the other piece down even though it was t a little wider than it needed to be um, I just peeled up what was underneath like that, stuck it down, it's fine. And, um, and that way, whenever I pull all of the backing off of all of this, then that'll all be sticky so that I can put down the um, paper that I'm going to put on the inside. So I got a couple of pieces of scrapbook paper of a map that I decided to use on the inside here I'm trying to figure out where's the center and just eyeballing it you know it looks like it's about here and then putting that down and trying not to <laughs> you know have it stick in the wrong place or mess up or tear it because then I don't have any didn't have any more of this paper and I would have not been happy if it got messed up so here I am um, had to shave a little bit off of each side because it was a little too long so I did that and then I, I um, did the same on the other side now in the end you can hardly see any of this paper because most of it gets covered up but you know that's fine um, I'm fine with that so I stick that down oops see there you go almost got stuck in the wrong place so now I'm trying to be more careful <laughs> And um, I could still see that there was a, some stickiness around it. And here I'm using my bone folder to make sure that's down and the creases are, you know, creased and everything. And you'll see here in a minute, I just take some baby powder and kind of go around the sticky edges that are still kind of, you know, exposed. So that way nothing gets else gets stuck to it. But that's pretty much the cover that I made. Um, like I said, I hope you come back to see... The, um, part two and part three of creating this lap book. Um, if you like this video, you can give me a thumbs up. You can also leave me a comment. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Or you could subscribe to my channel to see more. That's if you're interested in seeing more. So yeah, here I'm just putting some baby powder around the edges and the sticky parts so that it's not sticky anymore. And just making sure that everything is, is uh, good and, and tight. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you stopping by, and we'll talk to you again later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.